But this is what I was excited about. Look at these. Look at, look at, look at. You know what that is, Mike. Candlestick holder. Okay. Two candlestick holders, but. All right. Under ten thousand dollars, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't lo looked it up. Kind of looks like Chester, my dog, though. But he's gold. Uh, oh no way! Hey everybody, how we doing today? Robert Zaba, auctioneer extraordinaire with Second Sense Auctions, and man, we got a great video today. Um, Video starts out. I have a gentleman's house. Um, his father passed away. Him and his son gonna move. It's downsize. It's too big for them. And he got in a car accident. So take a look. He's got some great things. And I go to an auction. Only three units. And my mentor, Tom Hall, auctioneer, the golden voice, who taught me how to be an auctioneer. He does the auction. There's only three units, real quick. And then we go with more of the doctor's unit. Unbelievable. Once again, check out the other videos. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the button, subscribe. And don't forget, hit the bell, get all your notifications. You don't want to miss anything. So many great videos. And the best thing, you can actually bid on the stuff, www.secondsense.com, www.secondsense.com. Appreciate everybody. Have a great Thanksgiving. Watch the video, and I hope you enjoy it. The only thing I'm keeping what my dad gave me, that pull box over there. That's not everything. And that jack, uh, that, I mean, I'll keep that jack because my dad didn't, yeah. But uh, he passed away. Oh, man. But it's fine. Over there, that scooter. I bought that new. I can't use it. I was in a car accident. Oh, my gosh. I bought it. It was like $550. It's electric. It holds up. It's pretty cool. That clock's going. All this stuff's going. Except them two statues, yeah. I gotta keep my okay. dad for that, you know. But uh everything else is done. Oh, I thought that was a win. Uh uh. -uh. uh man, everything but that table there, that leather table. But everything else is gone. Uh, and the T V that and the T V. The tape that table over there and the TV I want. Okay. But the stand, it could go, uh, the couch could go. What are you planning on doing? I don't know. I'm looking at first. <laughs> I haven't seen what you got. Okay. And I'll come up with the plan. And uh, all that stuff is going. This chair is going. And that table, that's, I that ain't going, but everything else is going. That table there, that's right. You're that's saying the desk is staying or whatever the other thing? Huh? You're saying that piece is staying? Yeah, this that table. Alright. Because this is my grandmother who gave this to me. I don't know what part of this for me. I understand. Uh, all everything in this room is going. I got some rugs too. This whole bedroom set. And uh, I got these rugs. That's going. That telescope. I'm keeping this TV. Oh, uh, no, I'm selling that. That's my dad. But I, I got that one in the other room. I'm going to get rid of that one. That's a Sony. I paid like $2,200 for that. Thing a, year, a year and a half ago. Let's see your chest. I got that. Uh, I think it's. I forget, I got the box for it. I think it's for I got the paper in there too. But I, well, I got brand new windows. That's the box for that scooter. Oh, for the hover scooter. Yeah, and uh, these are 4x4 four four Andersons. 
they were like four thousand dollars a piece they open up yeah it's just tough because all windows you know they're made for certain openings so if you don't have that size open and then you have to demo you know what i'm saying it's just tough to resell i mean they'll sell but not for much i got jacuzzis going that's a custom color it's a sixty six hundred dollars brand new that's um the color yeah they usually come in white that's a custom it's a waterfall like the water comes down oh yeah there you know it's got a heater too it's got a heater in it you know i hardly use it i only use it a couple times i was going to put it in the bathroom but it wouldn't fit i'd have to tear the walls out and i said well i'll put upstairs on the house that window too that's going i can move it. these these uh moving mats uh -huh. that's going all this stuff the pool table is from the 50s. Bumper pool. It's got to be redone. There's columns. I got the other one over there. And I got some tools in that room there. And this room here. Looks like Elvis. Sander up there, all that, the light, stone, all that, everything, the wood, it's all oak. If that works, that's electric. Yeah, it's a holding. This stove can go, that can go with a shop pan. Uh, has to be humidifier. And I, I got the other chair over there, it's four. They're all carved out, they turn like that. This table saw, these rugs. They didn't have insurance. No, they did. Well, the guy that they stole the truck off of, he right. had insurance. So his parents had insurance. But the only thing is, they want my insurance to pay. You know. Of course. I hate insurance companies. I don't understand it because they hit me. They should pay. You know. Well, 100%. And my lawyer said, "Well, I got a." Um, policy limits you know they pay they wanted to pay me my money what I had in my policy is we should go after theirs you know all right but then it's like I guess the catch 22 all the rates are going that stuff too up there you know it's a catch 22 that uh weed whacker the tire on it the spreader the jack stand these here uh they're like garden fences. When are you trying to get all the stuff? Thirty dollars on it. Great twenty five. I'm gonna get thirty. I'm gonna get thirty dollars. Twenty five. I'm gonna get thirty out. I'm gonna get thirty. Thirty bucks. Twenty five. Everybody to get thirty. I'm gonna get thirty dollars. Twenty five. I'm gonna get thirty. I'm gonna get thirty. I'm gonna get thirty out. I'm gonna get thirty. Thirty bucks. Anybody? Y'all done? Twenty five. I'm gonna get thirty out. Thirty bucks. Twenty five. I'm gonna get thirty. Good oil and stuff in there. Fifty dollars. Fifty dollars. We get fifty. We get twenty-five. Twenty-five. We get fifty. At twenty-five, everybody get fifty. All done. Twenty-five. We get fifty. Fifty. Thank you.
Hey YouTube Universe, how are we doing today? Auctioneer Extraordinary here, Robert Zabo with Magic the Man, Mike! And guess what? We got more boxes from the Doctor Unit we're going to go through. Who knows what we're going to find? We found so many unbelievable things already. Take a look at our past videos. Don't forget, subscribe, and you need to hit that bell. Get your notifications. You don't want to miss what we're going to have next. You never know. And we can't wait to see what we have today. And actually, the best thing is, you know what it is, Mike? That you can bid on stuff? That's right, Mike! You can bid on stuff. <laughs> www.secondsense.com. www.secondsense.com. Let's take a look right here. Let's go right here. It says books. So, well, first off, all about dinosaurs. We found all kind of cool dinosaurs. The um, whole Mark set of dinosaurs. More new games for teenagers. Algebra. Composition in English. Ooh. These are always nice. We've got some uh, 45 records in there. No. This one, dude, um, it feels like it's never been opened this far. Hmm. It might be brand new, unused. Oh. Mother and Mother's Encyclopedia? Never heard of it. There's some old boxes of Crayola crayons. Look at these, Mike. Wow. Oh my gosh. You heard unused? Unused. Box of Crayola crayons, 35 cents, number 242s. So who knows, you know? Oh, there's another one in there, Mike. Wow. Those gotta be worth money. I mean, people just like to put those on the shelf, decorate with them. Who knows, you know? Just. Look at this. Oh, that's a little brownie, isn't it? Yeah. I've seen those before. You got the brownie bullet camera right there, and we got the Hero Imperial snapshot camera. i never seen this one before. So you never know what you're going to find. I mean, this box, it just said books. We found vintage crayons. We just found a vintage camera. Maybe a brand new 45 holder. So who knows? I mean, it's just so exciting. I love this. I love this unit. It's just been awesome. This one says glass. Let's find out. We have a lot of paper. Oh, we'll get to that in a minute. Let's keep going here. Look at this little piece. I think that was some kind of glue or something. I'm sure we can get that off there. But it's all hand carved wood right there. Oh, what's this? Oh. At first, I thought I said I saw a plaque on all gems, and uh, I guess that means. Uh, Tongs. <laughs> it sounded fancier in French, Mike, okay? A lot of fancy, didn't it? It did. It's like, wow, that sounds interesting. Look at these. There's a whole bunch of blue plates there. All these plates. I can't read the back of that one. This one has a better mark in it. Made in England. So you never know. You gotta look up. They don't look anything too special, but there's a whole set. Same company. But this is what I was excited about. Look at these. Look, look, look. Oh, you know what that is, Mike. Candlestick holder. Okay. Two candlestick holders, but what? look at the bottom. Sterling silver. Ooh. So we got two <clears throat> sterling candlestick holders. I mean, that's why I love this unit. And that's why I love my job. You never know what you're going to find. You never know what you're going to see. I mean... How many jobs in the world can you find gold, silver? I mean, I, I'm just so excited. My like, just gotta keep going. <laughs> keep going. All right, let's take this box right here. Oh! Ooh! Look at this. And we had a whole other box just like this. All old newspapers. Let's see if we can find a date right there. 1954. The Cleveland News, Sports and Radio. So all these newspapers, 1954. This might be a whole set. And you know, people love these old newspapers. Some people will frame them, hang them up on the wall. They'll find like little stories or pictures in there, the sports sections. I gave my brother one the one time with Babe Ruth, a 1920-something sports page. I framed it for him. But who knows? Oh, it's awesome. I 
old paper. What is it called? Ephemera? Uh, ephemera? Uh, ephemera. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Whatever Mike said. Sorry. I'm tongue tied sometimes when I'm an auctioneer. Fear World Adventures. Around the World Adventurer series, 1954. 500 facts about World War. Is this about the first one or the second one? It's like the first World War. World War. <laughs> Tongue tied again. Look at this. 1955 International Atomic Exposition Nuclear Engineering. Oh, look at that American Airlines one. See, these are things people, okay, one, you worked for American Airlines, your father, your mother, something like that. People love this. I mean, look at that. Just look at this guy, how he's dressed. With a leather jacket, bomber jacket on, and hat. I mean, the plane just getting loaded. I mean, that's just, and this whole thing's filled. Happy holidays in Miami Beach. Oh, I love Miami Beach. Oh, that's a whole different one. East Eastern Airlines, low-cost luxury vacations for any budget. <laughs> we won't be going down there. We'll have to go visit what the hails. Oh, look at this one. Things to do in Cleveland. Hmm. Visitor brochure. And that is vintage goodness right there. Wow. The mayor, Thomas Burke. I never even heard of this guy. <laughs> he was the mayor. I mean, that's how long ago that was. So, I mean, this is just unbelievable stuff. The Kiramu Theater. Masonic Auditorium, 1950-51 to 51 season. Oh, what's this? Oh, I thought it was like money or something. So, who knows? This thing's just loaded with all kind of old paper. You gotta look. You gotta check it out. You never know. Just keep watching. We got a couple more boxes to go through. See what else we can find. Oh my gosh, Mike. <laughs> Sorry. It's just, but I'm just Cleveland. This is Cleveland! Look at the old stadium. See, people just love stuff like that. Denmark? I think one of these has money or something in it, Mike. <laughs> I mean, it's just loaded down here. New York Central travel guide year round. But look at the outfits. And that's what makes it the money. Vintage goodness. Keep watching. I'm sorry, there's so much great stuff. I'm excited. Mike's excited. We're all excited. Just keep watching. I mean, think about it. We found sterling silver. All kind of cool vintage paper. I mean, a whole box, 1954. Who knows what else we're going to find? Let's take a look here. It says miscellaneous kids' books. I thought it said CDs or something at first. Oh. My fair lady. So, everyone's favorite. You ever see My Fair Lady? Mike? I have not. What's your name? Silent Shane? <laughs> <laughs> I was joking. <laughs> Monticello, Winter Dance. This is all vintage stuff, but you gotta look in these books because it says kids' books, and some kids' books are worth good money. Drawing for all. Oh, turtles for pets. <laughs> <laughs> Talking parakeet. Ooh. Oh, it's an address book. Why we strike? Look at that. Hmm. Now see something like this. See how, I mean, very possible. This is like, it could have been under, I don't, I don't know. Let's look right here. The staff. See something like this. They were, look at how it's printed. See how it's all messed up right there and everything. There might only been a few of these made. Like, this is something that could be extremely valuable or worthless. You just don't know. This piece of paper could be worth hundreds of dollars. I mean, I never see anything like it. And that, you know, they they make a lot of them. It's not a book. It was like something about you know. I would have to read it. What it's about. The purpose of this pamphlet is to help explain and clarify the position of striking students of um, Columbia. It was hastily written for obvious reasons. We dedicate the first publication to all of our brothers and sisters who courageously engaging in the struggle for liberation of self and society. That's what it's about, Mike. <laughs> so who knows, you know. 25th anniversary in the spelling contest. Official word book. See, if you're in the spelling bees, that's something people would collect. It's just that you want to know. Paper dolls. 
Now remember, the little golden books were looking for first print. Oh, <laughs> it's missing back pages. So. Whatever, it's not going to be worth anything, so we're going to keep looking. Chameleons as pets? These people had some pets. Oh, look at this. Howdy doody. Five little bears. Snowman's Christmas present. And these are all like 1950s. Let's take a look right here. 1954. Sometimes I know what I'm talking about, Mike. I know you don't <laughs> believe me, but Gene Autry goes to the circus. Who doesn't like cowboys and elephants? I know you like cowboys and aliens. Did you ever see that movie? No. <laughs> I'll just keep moving. Keep moving. The Little Kittens. Let's see if this one's marked inside a little golden book. That's an old one. So you're looking right here, there. It's going to be on. It's going to have a letter A, B, or C, or it could be in the middle. But this whole thing is all unbelievable. Like, look at all these little golden books. Madeline. <clears throat> Some of these could be big money. The shy little kitten. So, I mean, we're just loaded. But then you're looking like the traveling twins. <laughs> See, I'm a twin. A lot of people don't know that. Fun fact about Robert Zava. <laughs> I'm a twin. Did you know that, Mike? I did. I figured you would. I did. If you didn't know that, then I would say you're, that's pretty sad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at that. It's a pop-up book? Oh, do you like pop-up books, Mike? I love pop-up books. One of my favorites when I was a kid. This one doesn't have a lot of pop-up in it, but it's still a pop-up book. Vintage goodness. <clears throat> and there's so many in here, Mike. I mean, Babar, The Little Trapper, Tom and Jerry's Merry Christmas, Prayers for Children, Hop Along Cassidy. So like I said, let's see if I can find maybe one of these I can find a, right there. Okay. See what that says? C. Where? Right down there. That little C, that means it's third printing, ladies and gentlemen. It was A, it's first printing. B, you go. You understand, I hope. If I have to keep explaining, then turn off the show. But man, this whole this whole box is just loaded with golden books. And like I said, look them up, people. First edition ones could be worth money. Little miners. Peter Pan and the Indians? I am Peter Pan. I don't want to grow up, Mike. <laughs> oh, look! Right there! Hey, so, first edition. We got a first edition. It's a good sign because not only it's, it's a Disney golden book, so that adds double value to it. Well, Mike, we're going to come over here. Last box. We might find a few more, but Mike has to go. <laughs> yes. Articulating legs. And this, I mean, it looks and feels like a stife. I'm looking for a button in the air, but they sometimes don't have them. The tag, I don't see one on there, but it feels like mole here. And look how well done this is. 1950s German stife. And this size stife, I mean, this could be worth $200 to $1,000, ladies and gentlemen. I haven't lo looked it up. Kind of looks like Chester, my dog, though. But he's gold. Uh, oh, no way. I, I got to wait for that one, Mike. Got to wait for that. Let's keep going. Look at this. I'll, I'll get back to what I'm excited about. I'm excited by this whole box. is exciting because I love old toys. Look at this old dial. Oh, man. Oh, no way. So it's like a musical. Dial, but oh, no so, head. Hold on, I found an arm. We can piece her back. We have the technology, Mike. We can put her back together. Make her better. Oh, this. Got a little Mary statue. Ballerina. Oh, my, it's, it's, it's weird how it's made. I don't understand exactly how what you do with this. So different. Oh man! Come on, Mike. Oh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Nothing. Don't worry, my excitement's still down there, Mike. I haven't pulled it out yet. I'm waiting. I'm going to see if there's any other craziness. Oh, my gosh, there's so much. Look at these. Look at these. 
These are good, Mike, if you want to go on a diet. <laughs> if you eat with... <laughs> you can only have small portions, a little piece of soup. You would get so tired, you would be done eating quick. <laughs> so, well, Mike, you're what? 600 pounds of solid rock muscle? Mm hmm. There's all oh, this porcelain down here. Look at these horses. Uh, I mean, it's just loaded down here with porcelain. Figures, I got to be real careful because how they packed them in here makes no rhyme, no reason. They're not wrapped up very well. Bracelet. It's not gold or nothing, but it's a nice looking bracelet. But what I'm excited about, I'm going to it, Mike, right here. Oh, look at this. An owl stife. I don't see the tag or anything else, but I can feel it feels like a stife. And owl is my spirit animal. I always find owls, and boom, it's. Meant to be, and one last thing. Look at this. Look at this guy. There's so much more in this box. I can't believe it. Oh my gosh, look at this. It's like a donkey or horse with two horses attached to it. Oh, Mike, we found it. We found it. Ah, <clears throat> uh, the head. The head for the doll. We will rebuild her. But the last thing I'm going to show you, Mike, well, I keep saying that, but. Mike's like, man, I want to leave an hour ago, Rob. Thank you. <laughs> Two things. It's hand blown little glass piece of horse, but look at this. It's a little wooden monkey. And I don't know how see how he has those things in there. So he must hang on something. And maybe he spins around or something. But he has like springs in him. Huh. So I'm not exactly sure what the monkey did or what he was, but I mean, it's so well made for a little piece of wood, you know. I mean, who knows what else we're going to find. Keep watching. I appreciate everybody out there. Have a great holiday Thanksgiving. Once again, Second Sense Auctions. You never know what you're going to find. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. We appreciate everybody out there. Thank you for watching. And you can bid on all the stuff. <clears throat> www.secondsense.com. www.secondsense.com. Have a great holiday. We're thankful for you guys. What are you thankful for, Mike? What am I thankful for? Yeah. Um, Second sets. That's right, Mike. <laughs>